What if I told you that inside ChatGPT, I'll teach you a way on how to be able to unlock even more functionality for free from image generation to summarizing text to educating yourself or even programming and fixing your coding issues. I'll teach you all in the next few minutes. So inside ChatGPT, there's something that we call custom GPT. So to be able to access this, it's very easy. You just go to this link over here, explore GPTs. And once you click on this, you'll be opening this up and there are a lot more specialized GPTs that you can use depending on your purpose. So for example, let's say we want to create some images and you could see the top trending GPTs over here. And one of them is Canva. So what I'll do right now is I'll click on Canva and let's say, let's just start a chat over here and you can now start creating images. So for example, let's say I want an inspirational quote graphic for social media. So I'll just click on this so that we can see what's going to happen. Now it's going to ask us a couple of questions. Let's say what message do we want to convey as an inspirational quote time is gold. Okay. So let's just do that and see what Canva will come back with. Now I'll just go for allow over here. And after a couple of seconds, we will get this couple of designs. Now, golden time moments, golden moments over here. And now you can even click on this and then continue editing inside Canva. But in just a couple of seconds, right, given your text, you have a couple of images that you can use straight away. So the second one that I want to share is a summarizer GPT. So let's go over to education over here and you could see summarizer. So I'll click on this. And the really nice thing is anything that you want summarized. Right. You can just tell summarizer to do this for you. So for example, write a topic or book movie title and summarize. So let's click on this. Okay. And then it's going to be summarizing something and it's now summarizing actually the alchemist. So let's just stop this. And let's say I want atomic habits to be summarized. Okay. So now it's able to generate the entire summary and you can see over here that it has the conclusion. Okay, it has the key points. Okay, and I really like this, the habit stacking. This is actually one of the things that I've been practicing based on this book. And you can see that it's a reliable summary of what we want to read. And if I scroll down, there's a summary, right? The key points as well, additional detail that you can just read in a couple of minutes rather than going through the entire book of text. And it's really nice because now you can add more functionality as well like create a diagram, expand a summary, or get codes, okay, based on your text, even flashcards, okay, and then do additional research, etc. even frequently ask questions. It's also able to do a translation to any, like, different language that you need, and you can just continue using this for other books, articles that you have, and you can save a lot of time in summarizing with this. So if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I have a free ebook for you on the top four ways to earn passive income. So links are all in the description. So when it comes to the custom GPT, my favorite one is this one and it's the code copilot. So let me just scroll all the way down over here. We have programming and it really helps you to code a lot better. So for example, let's just click on this. Let's start chat. And if I have a piece of code, let's say I have C sharp code that's pretty buggy. It has a couple of issues and I'll just type in that, Hey, help me fix the errors in my C sharp code. Okay. So I'll just paste in the code over here and let's see what's going to happen with this code. I already have a couple of mistakes. I'm trying to divide by zero over here. And I think I also have a possible null reference exception over here. Okay. So I have two main errors over here and let's see what it will come back with. So it's able to see that, Hey, you haven't handled division by zero and you haven't handled the null reference exception. So if you're familiar with coding, it's just able to zero in right away on the issues in my code. And it's even able to generate the fixed code for me right now, because if I see over here, right, you have the divide by zero exception is trying to check if the error would happen, right? And it's also able to check that, okay, is the message null or not? And it's a really nice way because if you have a complicated code that you could not understand, or even just like spending a lot of time trying to debug or find the errors, then you're able to just copy and paste it over here. Just make sure you don't have sensitive information and it's able to analyze and digest it for you. Another really nice thing is it's able to give you detailed explanation on what it has done with the code so that you would understand what are the changes that were made. Okay. And you're able to check that. Okay. Is this something that I'm comfortable with or not? 
if I have like complicated code, I could just like drop snippets over here and ask ChatGPT or even Code Copilot over here to explain that piece of code for me. So I really encourage you to continue exploring the different GPTs. So if you love this video, I would encourage you to watch this next to learn on how to create AI videos using ChatGPT.